Hello friends, welcome to Azure Data Break session. In today's session, we are going to ingest the data by calling the API. This is the architecture we are following. In today's demo, we are going to ingest the data which are coming from API. We are going to call the publicly available API through the notebook. The result we will receive in the form of JSON and then we are going to manipulate this JSON file. We are going to ingest this data into the, our medallion architecture. Let us go for a demo now. This is our Databrick environment. Already I created a folder called book underscore publisher. Under that I am going to create a notebook. First step, I am going to create a table in bronze schema and silver schema. Already I have a create script with me. I am going to use this script for table creation. Bronze table created successfully. Next, I am creating the silver table. Both the tables are same structure, same number of columns. Silver table also created successfully. Create another notebook to call the API. Mount point created successfully. Next step, I am going to call the API. I don't want to waste the time to type here. I just copy paste the code which I created already. This is the code to call the API and capture the result. We are creating the Spark session. We are constructing the URL. Let us see what is the result we are getting from this URL. This is the result we will get while calling the API. Once the URL construction is completed, next step we need to tell what is the header we are going to use it. The header I am passing it as a content type as a JSON and it can accept text or JSON. And then with the help of request.get method, I am calling this API and then the result will store in the result set. Also, I am iterating multiple time. Why? Because first time when I call, I am getting some set of result. Another one at the end of the result, it will return the next URL also. It means there, there is a furthermore result on this particular request. So we need to call the another URL, next URL to get another set of result. So I'm calling this the API in the looping. So it will go till we go for the empty next URL. And then it will construct this result. It will create a file, store it in a API book publishers mount point. First step, let me execute this mount point. These are all the mount point with mounted. And the next step, I'm executing this API call. This is a sample code actually. You need to fine tune this code furthermore. Let us go to the landing bucket. What is the result we are getting? We will see here. This is the folder where the file will copy. Already it copied four files. Still our code is running. It means it is going for next URL again and again till we get the end of the URL. The API call completed successfully. It created so many files in the landing bucket. These files contain the JSON data. This is the data we received. Let us go and process this data. Let me go back and create another notebook. We are going to read this JSON file and going to ingest this data into ext table using autoloader. We need to create a schema for the JSON we received. How do we know the schema for the received JSON file? Here, first time, if you don't know the schema of the received JSON file, you can try this approach. I will read only one file. I am reading it. This is the schema, right? From this result set, you can create the schema. This is the data set for this particular file, right? I'm passing this file and then getting the schema out of it. Okay. This is the schema of the JSON file. From this result, I created schema like this. Okay. Let me 
let me comment it out or let me drop this part these are all not required schema created now next step we need to create a code to read the file and ingest this data into ext table let me paste the code i created already here i am reading the cloud files it's auto loader we know already right it is reading the file from this mount point whatever the file starting with book underscore publishers those file it will read automatically and then keep it in a data frame this data frame we are ingesting into external table let me run the code now before i execute this file processing let me go to catalog i'll verify if there are any table available here there is no book publisher table here let me come back to the notebook i will execute this notebook this will take some time because we have so many files in the mount point Job, job successfully completed let us go and verify the table whether we have data in the table yeah we have total 15 records in the table each row is one file here we can see 15 record 15 record means total 15 file ingested creating another notebook step 3 ext table 2 bronze table in this step only we are going to read the actual J json from the external table and then we are going to manipulate it In this code, I am reading all the record from the external table and eliminate the file which are already ingested into bronze table and then flattening the result and create the temporary view. Let me execute this code. This will create a flattened temporary view. This is the data available in the view created in the previous step when we look at this result right we saw only 15 rows but when we do the flattening it is giving so many record it is giving around 150 record why because in the previous step in the external table we just inserted one file one record it will create but here inside of the file there may be multiple rows after the flattening it is giving multiple record here if you go in the right hand side of the view you can see each file contain how many records those result you can see here see same file contain multiple rows next step we need to ingest this record into the bronze table this is the sql statement for ingesting record into bronze table whatever the record available in the flattened view those record inserting into the bronze table that's all all 150 rows got inserted into bronze table next create another notebook 
to ingest the data from bronze into silver table. In this step, we should not simply insert the record as usual what we are doing in the bronze because this is the fact table. We need to check this record already available in the table or not. If it is available, we need to merge it. If it is not available, then we need to insert it. For this process, we need to use the merge into statement. Create SQL script. In this step, we are reading all the record from the bronze table and then filtering out the record already inserted into the silver table and create the view for those data set. View created successfully. Let us verify the record in the view. This is the record available in the view. Okay, we have the book ID as a unique column. When we are working on the fact table, we need to consider the change data capture also. Change data capture means if the record already available in the fact table, we need to update it. If the record is not available, we are receiving the new record, then we need to go and insert the record into the fact table. For that, we have a merge statement. Merge into where we are going to merge, we are going to merge into silver table. What is the table name? Fact Book Publisher. I am giving the alias name TBL target. What is the data we are going to merge it? Data available in the view. Using, using this view, we are going to merge it. And what is the condition we are going to check? Between these two table, the common key column going to be book ID. If the ID column is matching, then we need to merge it, right? When matched, then update. If not, when not matched, then insert it. Okay, let us execute this statement. It inserted 150 records because there is no record in the silver table already. In future, if there are any existing record coming, it will go on a update statement. Okay, this is how we need to insert or update the record into silver table because the silver table should not contain any of the duplicate record. That is why we need to go for merge statement. In this demo, we learned how to call the API using Databricks Notebook and how to handle the JSON data inside of the Databricks using Notebook and how to insert the record from external table into bronze, bronze into silver table. With this, let me conclude the session. We will meet in next session. Thank you.